Hello and welcome to part 4 of my F1 Manager 22 career mode Managing Mercedes Here today for Imola A race that wasn't too good for Mercedes in real life But hopefully we can do better in the game Coming off the back of a decent result in Australia If you haven't watched that then make sure to check that one out As well as this so coming into qualifying then and I probably sent both of them out a bit too close to each other as Lewis is pretty much pushing George around the lap as you also see that we are on the inters because it is raining here in Imola a bit like it was in real life as well but you can see it's Lewis lighting the time screen with purple sectors in that middle sector but up to the line they come now and it is going to be George briefly on top before Hamilton takes his place if only that was legitimate and half the field had it set a lap time as you can see Verstappen is doing what he does best two purple sectors and he's probably just about to take the final purple sector away from Hamilton up to the line easy peasy for the Dutchman now stepping on towards the end of the session and the track was drying but everyone was coming out on inters so I thought I'd stay in and risk it and that turned out to be the worst decision ever because as you can see drivers are improving I mean you're slipping down and down and down and we are on the bubble then risking it may have not have paid out and it hasn't paid out Hamilton and George both in the drop zone and we're going to be starting the grant proof on the back I thought because of I thought because the track was drying obviously it's going to get quicker but the fact that everyone's still going out and enters wouldn't affect anything and they wouldn't be able to improve but fortunately they have so we're starting the race from the back so we're going to split the strategies we're going to start Lewis on the hard tyres and just see how far he can take them and then George just splitting the strategies George on a two stop starting on the softs and then going medium medium because we've got to try something to get themselves through this field so let's go to the race that will be welcome news for the teams taking a look at Mercedes now They'll be starting the race from the bottom half of the grid, so there's a fair bit of ground to make up. We've got the other Mercedes here. They're in the back half of the pack, so they'll need to work hard if they want a podium finish. The teams are ready to go. The crowd are on their feet in anticipation of this, the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go so we're racing here in Imola I haven't even gone away well it's the two Ferraris racing each other and it is Leclerc who's come out on top because he has been dominating the championship so far this season but towards the back I don't think the lads have gained any places there is the battle in each other the 19th and 20th where they started they haven't gained anything this is George trying to overtake Yuki Sonoda and he hasn't managed to do it and that hasn't been a very successful start but we're going to tell both of them to push and especially George as well on those soft tyres he can push a little bit more we need Lewis to just bide his time and get these tyres as far as he can but this is George now all over the back of Yuki Sonoda and he's got the toe now and he briefly had a run on Latifi and I don't know but Sonoda has kept himself in it somehow they're side by side but George does gain that position and next he's going to get past Latifi that is now we're going to tell him to defend a little bit as his yellow flags now on lap 2 and there's a crash it involves Yuki Sonoda 
what's happened here? Lewis has gone down the inside of him to try and gain the position. It's locked up, and he's gone straight on into the barrier. Interesting there. That's left Lewis off the hook there, and now here comes George getting past Nicholas Latifi. Or does he? Yes, just about keeps his nose in. On the outside, he tries to go down, and he does gain that place. Lovely bike. Well done. by the British driver now we can tell him to start pushing Charge again but also harvest that okay. pack now we just need he Lewis to get past him lot. and in a couple of laps he does overtake Latifi but you can see the amount of time he's lost because of it and now we're just going to skip on a bit and leave them to it as both of them have caught the back of this pack headed by Albon as down the inside George goes off the Aston Martin and these and these two teams Aston Martin and Williams haven't gained haven't got a point this season so we need to clear these so this is Stroll now coming back at Hamilton he gained the place early on in the race and he's actually falling back a bit there it's very frustrating as George is still over the back of Sebastian Vettel as he tries to find a way through and that is massive blow as our mechanic get very frustrated with that and so do I as well very very annoying but as we enter George's pit window as he finally managed to clear those behind fortunately because I skipped on we didn't get the replays of that but there's a yellow flag here on lap 16 a lock up by Gasly it's not turning into the best of days for Alfa Tauri as he locks up goes straight on at the penultimate corner and this is Hamilton now with with the Aston Martins and he re-overtakes Stroll that was a long time overdue that one and he's on the back now of the other Aston Martin or Vettel can he get the job done we need him to get the job done in this race these, these this pack's costing us so much time you can see the gap not only on the mini map but on the timing tower as well with the gap to them in front as we are on lap 16 now and it is time for George's first stop of the day and we're going to put him on those medium tyres stick to the original strategy that we made pre-race and then let's just see what George can do hopefully the fact now he has got away from that pack you can see the amount of time He's pulled away. As here comes Hamilton now on Sebastian Vettel, and that's taken way longer than it needs to do. Out of the pit, so comes George, and we are going to get him out in a nice, healthy gap behind the McLaren of Lando Norris. As Hamilton still battling Vettel, has to re overtake him, and we are going to come out just ahead of Albon which is crucial and now we can make George push as hard as he can on the set of these medium tyres but of course also we have to extend it out a little bit as Bono tells Hamilton there's been a huge crash involving Vettel and that's not good half the two Aston Martins hit each other no Vettel's gone locked up and straight on and done his best Yuki Sonoda impression from earlier on in the Grand Prix not sure there you can see on the minimap um George Russell's big gap as this is sites in the lead of the race and that's not good for the Ferrari supporters they were loving a one two there and that's a one two they haven't got this is Hamilton now he's really starting to make some progress in this Grand Prix now now he's got away from the Aston Martins and the Williams He's doing a stunning job on those soft, on those hard tyres. All the way now onto lap 37. And now on 51%. He's very good at looking after his tyres. We're telling George to conserve his tyres. And here comes Hamilton. Overtaking the, the Alfa Tauri of Pierre Gasly. He's absolutely flying now with Hamilton. And on lap 40. We actually went over his pit of the optimum pit window 
for him just because he was looking after the tires so well I thought we might as well just keep him out there see how far we can get him because then his medium tires will be much much fresher as well as on lap 41 we pit George for the second time and I kind of realised at this point in time that the two stop really wasn't the way to go because we've kind of taken him out of this race and you can see now whereas he was in front of Hamilton because Lewis still got to pet at this point in time but he still we've, took it, we've taken him out of the fight because he was right there with Lewis but now he's going to be what around 20 seconds behind him as on to the end of lap 41 George came out in clean air let's see what the guys can do with Hamilton then on to the tyres the tires aren't there they, they reappear now a little glitch there that's what that I think that's a glitch that Ferrari wanted in Zandvoort as these are two Alpines going at it now and these are going to come out just ahead of Hamilton who is a long long way clear of George so the one stop starting on those hard tyres as he is going to come out side by side though with the Williams but the Williams is a lap down which is good uh, I've had enough of seeing Williams and Aston Martins in this race after yellow, earlier yellow. there's another yellow flag this is Hamilton catching the back of Daniel Ricciardo now what has happened there's another crash on the track this is Ocon he hasn't hit the back of his teammate has he now he's gone locked up and tell you what the marshals on that part of the track have been very busy everyone just wants to do a Yuki Tsunoda impression at that corner by the looks of things and the fans are getting some action as well as this is Hamilton now just kind of leaving him to his own devices telling him to push but he's going to be blocked in and boxed in there by Ocon but that doesn't stop him Ricardo's got the DRS though and he's had to back off and get back in behind the McLaren and live to fight another day and frustratingly another lap but I skipped on a bit unfortunately we missed it until the last lap this is Hamilton overtaking Alonso you can see from where he started what he was stone dead last I think for, so for the fact he's got himself up into P7 he's so good at looking after his tyres and now we've really been telling him to push on these mediums the same with George but it's going to be a win for Max Verstappen on Ferrari home soil the first non-Ferrari win of the season as well it's been so dominant from Charles Leclerc but his run comes to an end Verstappen wins out in Imola for the second year in a row and Hamilton comes home for an excellent P7 in this race couldn't quite get Joe for P6 but that's a good result for him but you can see George all the way down there was a lap down as well the two stop was not the way to go Hamilton did okay here today. There's no doubt that Mercedes have a lot of potential. Now they need to figure out how to make it work for them. I agree, they have some ironing out to do, but they certainly have what it takes to get there. That's right, and they finish the race weekend in third place in the constructor standings. Coming up next, the teams will be taking a trip to the Sunshine State. The Hard Rock Stadium is laying down the track for a captivating race at the Miami Grand Prix. So we head to Miami next and look at that. 12 position games for Hamilton. Decent, decent by him. In terms of the stat championships now. And you can see that Leclerc is still on the second step of the podium. Still gaining points. For Stappen though, trying to keep his title. He needs to kick on now. Hopefully he can with the win. George not getting any points, not ideal from him. But we, we, we did a Ferrari strategy with him, unfortunately. 
Hamilton on the other hand, we did very well with and Latifi still at the back. In terms of constructors we are third but we do have Alfa Romeo breathing down our necks just just behind us. But before we go then in this video we are going to design a new rear wing because we're not the quickest in the straight line and I would like to fix that. I'm still getting used to all of this at the time of recording this video but I hope you enjoyed this race at Imola. Very two-sided, good on one side, bad on the other but I'll see you in Miami. Goodbye.